What you doing now, Karen? We received a request from Dr. Tools to try out their leather recoloring balm. And we said, yes, we'll give it a try on our RV recliner seats because they're getting a little nasty looking. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. So Dr. Tool sent us two boxes. One of them is brown and the other one is dark brown. And I think we're going to need the dark brown one. I'm not sure why the boxes are different. But, let me tell you what's on the side of these boxes. And this one says leather and vinyl recoloring balm. It says here, it's suitable for all kinds of smooth leather and vinyl. Chairs, clothing, your steering wheel, and your seats in your vehicles. It comes in black, dark brown, medium brown, and beige. So let's see what's inside. Comes with the balm, comes with the gloves, comes with a buffering pad and your pad that you're going to smear it on with, and also a little brush that you'll use. So everything comes with the box itself. So the instructions for that, step one is to clean the leather and leave for 10 minutes. So I'm going to be using like a mild Dawn soap and water. and then uh, cleaning it off with fresh water. Step two is you wear disposable gloves. Use, use the brush to tip into the balm and put it on the surface of the leather where you want it to be repaired. Step three is you use a sponge to wipe and repair the places in circular motions to make the color more uniform. Step four is to leave it on for 10 minutes and then come back and polish it with your little buffing pad, which is included, and then repeat that process two, three, or four times, whatever it takes, to get your coloring to look the way you want it to look. Now, I don't believe the seats are leather in our RV. They're pleather or some other something. <laughs> but um, we're going to give it a try and see how it does. Because of the color of our fabric on here, I'm going to use the dark brown. We're currently in storage, so this is a good time to do this. But you can see the wear and tear on Dave's chair. His has um, started de degrading before mine, but mine's degraded now too. But we were talking on the seat, on the arms, in front of the seat. Mine arms worse than his. This is going to be a really good test. We're going to start on a smaller spot first since we've never done this before. I got a little bit of soapy water here, so I'm just going to get any residue off of it, I guess. Boy, the whole arm's pretty bad, Dave. I'll tell you, it takes a beating. Well, you know what? I don't think uh, any of these RV furnitures that come with the RV are all that great. No, I wouldn't I wouldn't put them up in the extraordinary what? furniture bracket. I don't think I'd put them in my house. <laughs> no. I know a lot of people have replaced their furniture. We really don't want to spend the money on it, so we're going to give this a try. Now I'm going to do it with a clean rag. I'm doing the whole arm because I probably end up puffing the whole thing. And I'm going to let that sit and dry for a little bit, about 10 minutes. While that's drying, I'm going to wash off the next area on here. And I'm going to do the whole thing because when you try to blend the color in, you're probably going to go over more than just that little area where the problem currently exists. And then rinse it again. All right, step one, done. Step two, wear disposable gloves. Hold that baby out there. Let me see you putting it on. Oh, yeah, 
just like the doctor. Yeah. Where's the big class ring? Oh, it's there. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then it says, use the brush to dip the balm on the surface of the leather that needs to be repaired. Give it a try over here. Now obviously if you have cracks, it's not going to fix any cracks. Now you could put more than one coat on, so I'm just going to start with this. I recommend you don't do this in the sun or high heat. I don't know if you have to go in both directions or not, but I guess it wouldn't hurt. Because I don't know what kind of material we're looking at here. So you just do circular motions. Now the material that was on here is worn away. So it's not going to replace it, but it is changing the color of what's underneath it. It does make it look better. It does. I'm going to keep going. And then we'll have to wait the 10 minutes and bu then buff it. All right, here comes the ugly part. I should probably just pour it on there. <laughs> Gonna probably have to be kind of liberal on this, huh? I'm thinking. Normally, what we end up doing was just putting a towel over the uh, area where Dave's head would go to cover up that area up there. This is going to take more than one time, I would think. Yeah. Now let me start buffing this before it gets too far along. Kind of feather it out to make it blend in. I tell you what. That's like a better already. Just to walk by, you you wouldn't know it. And then by that time, the other stuff should be along far enough to buff it. That got an odor to it or anything? Very, very mild. A little bit like um, vinyl. Tell you what, I'm impressed right now. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm. I'm surprised how well it's working. I mean, uh, that chair was ready for the scrap heap. Now it's looking <laughs> pretty good. Step four is to buff it after 10 minutes. You got your little buffing pad there? I got it. Hey, it is shining up. Huh. I mean, you can still see where the, the pieces of them top coating and the material have flaked off, but underneath it now this is the right color. Now let's buff the head part up here. If it wasn't such a big area and hadn't actually stripped in the actual top layers, thin layer, whatever kind of material this is, hadn't come off, it probably would all shine. Of course it's not going to shine now because that's gone, but... At least it's somewhat the right color. Absolutely. That could use another coat. Yeah. Compared to what it was, that chair is livable. Now. Yeah. A little close up on it so you can really see how this is pretty bad off. Blend it. Pretty sure you'd have to kind of let this sit for a while and dry, but let's just do a little wipe. See, yeah, we're gonna have to let this dry for a bit. Mm -hmm. Here is the end result. It's lost its shine, but that's not because of the bomb. It's because the material is missing, but the color is back. Which now, I'm not embarrassed. You know what, I think I need to do 
Maybe another coat right there. I ended up doing Dave's headrest area the third time and it looks pretty darn good. Well, it's been 24 hours, so I'm back at the RV and I'm going to see if this dye is good and dry. We did Dave's head area three times. Nothing. Did the armrest several times too. Good and dry. So there they are. Looking good. So what do you think overall? I think overall it worked real good. I mean, right now, I mean, somebody walks in, I wouldn't be too embarrassed. I don't even think they'll notice. Nah, not unless you knew it was there. So, hey, Karen, how, uh, how difficult was it to do all that? It was really easy to do, and just follow the instructions. I have material left over. If I want to touch it up again, you just may have to do more than one coat. But I tell you what, it looks great. You could purchase this product for under $20 on Amazon.com. Check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.